All right, so you want to disable ads on your phone, but you don't want to have to root your phone in order to do it. Now there's good news. All it takes is downloading a single app and you'll be able to block 99% of the ads on your phone system wide. So what you got to do is get on your browser and Google AdGuard Android. And then you hit that first link and you just navigate to where you can install the APK and then download and install it. So once that's done, you open up the app, AdGuard, that you just installed, and this is what it looks like when you open it up. So as you can see, I've saved 9.91 gigabytes of bandwidth from having this app installed, and that's just for about two weeks. So let me show you what a browsing experience is like when you don't have this app installed. So let's go ahead and disable it by hitting that button. Open back up your browser and go to Forbes.com, for example. Now, when the website loads, there's going to be a constant banner ad at the bottom here. And as I scroll, it does not go away. And the same exact ad is right here. So when I scroll, this one goes away, and I find that very reasonable. But having this constant banner ad here taking up this much space and not going away no matter how much I scroll is kind of obnoxious for me and kind of gives me a good reason to install an ad blocker. So going back to the app, let's turn it back on and see what the website looks like when it's turned on. Alright, the site's fully loaded and no ads to be seen. Beautiful. So let's go back to the app and when you install it it's going to take up a notification slot constantly and that's going to be there so that your android phone does not kill the app by itself and it's also going to take up a little key icon there in the in the top bar at least it does for me but what i like about this app is that if there are websites that you want to support by seeing their ads maybe clicking on them you can go to a whitelist here and you can add websites that you want to support. Now in the beginning I said that this app will block system-wide ads and it does but that is for the licensed version so what you just installed was the basic version and what that does is block ads for internet browsing so when you're browsing and you go to any website it's gonna block those ads by default if you want to block system-wide ads, so games and other apps that are not the internet, you're going to have to get a licensed version. Now, I believe they have a 30-day trial before you try and buy their licensed version, but there's two ways to get it. Either you pay, and um, I think $10 per year is the cost, or you can get a lifetime subscription, which is $25. But if you don't want to do any of that, then just go back into Google and Google AdGuard Free Premium. And then hit that first link. And the people at AdGuard were actually gracious enough to grant you the opportunity to get the premium version of the app for free. Now all you have to do is enter your email address and they're going to send you a unique link which is unique to your email address. And what you do is you just share the app with four other people and then they'll send you a key to use and that gives you a free year of AdGuard Premium, I believe. So the way the app works is that it launches a local VPN on your phone and what that is is a virtual private network and basically it acts as a filter and it's going to use the ad domain name lists that get downloaded to the app automatically. So if you go to AdBlocker Oh, I'm sorry. You go to General and you'll have this Auto Update Filters option. What those are is lists that basically sort out what are and aren't advertisements and let the ones that aren't through. So you get the information you want to see and you exclude the information you don't want to see. Now this app does not use any extra battery than what would be used normally. So the VPN is local on your device. It's not going to reach out anywhere and 
have to use any extra battery in order to filter out all these ads. And also, if you ever have any issues such as not being able to log into an app or a Google search result is blank, the first thing you should do is turn this uh, ad blocker off. So you just hit that and then go log in or do your Google search or whatever is this might be blocking. So I myself bought the Lifetime Premium subscription. It was about $25. And just to show you that it works, I'm going to launch, uh, let's see, IMDB, for example. Now when I launch it, there's the ad at the bottom there. It's for a movie trailer. But when I go and re-enable AdGuard, and this is just for the premium, keep in mind. Let's try and kill the app and then reopen IMDb. And then you shouldn't see any ads at all inside the app. The app also has some other features that come on it, but when you download it, I suggest not really touching anything. I mean, when you go into Adblocker, it's going to have things like a spyware filter or a social media filter. Uh, this one blocks those Facebook like buttons and stuff like that, like the Twitter retweet buttons that you'll see all over a website. I like to block those out too. Uh, the spyware filter, I'm pretty sure, is crap. Like, it, like what kind of spyware are you going to get on your phone? I don't think I'm going to get any as long as you use common sense when you browse the web and stuff. But I just leave that check marked. Um, the app also gives you some statistics of what data passed through and what you use the most. There's also a firewall in there. I don't know what that does. Another quick note I want to make is that you won't find this app in the Google Play Store because Google is an advertisement company first and foremost. They don't want you to be blocking ads all the time so just google the apk file adguard android or adguard apk whatever and just go to that first link at adguard.com don't go to any other links it says it's on the play store but this is the one that i got and this is the one that works and it's from their own website so it's the one that i trust i forgot to mention that this app will actually not block YouTube ads. It's going to block 99% of everything else, so games, apps, and internet ads, but it is not going to block YouTube ads. And also, I do realize the irony that this is a YouTube video and an ad is probably going to play before it, but hey, so I guess it's not completely ironic. Anyways, enjoy your new ad-free phone experience, and I'll see you guys in the next video.